I'm from the Midwest originally, and uh, there's a strong ceramics uh, tradition. I teach intro to ceramics, and I teach it through a highly individualized, expressive approach where the clay, the, the student is given the opportunity to converse with the material. So we explore aspects of structure and the combination of, of functional and non-functional ideas uh, with a strong sculptural approach. I encourage the student to, to explore an idea in its many facets. If you came to me and said, I would like to uh, create forms like this, but I want the forms to have structures that stick out like this, I would say that clay, when it's fired, is going to go like this. So if you want this, the piece to be perpendicular and, and sticking out uh, in this fashion, you might consider employing another material. And how can we discuss ways of achieving that? Teachers College Ceramics program has a long tradition of embracing this type of creation. Uh, you know, it's part of the arts and crafts movement. This, this program, this ceramics program, is over 100 years old. The, what I particularly like about this program is that it attracts a really highly intelligent and um, renaissance type figures, people with varied interests that come from varied backgrounds. It's, it's, and I think that's a strength in that it's not an MFA or BFA program where you have a, a strong concentration in ceramics. You have a concentration in education and you learn to use the, the diverse studio uh, uh, experience in, in a number of ways and, and take it to the classroom. I, mean, I try to envision for my students how a project that we do in here could be applicable to a, a classroom in a public school. And, and so it's, it's, a, it's a very um, uh, subjective and personalized experience for the students. I mean, they're, they're expressing the way they are processing their world, their own world, and, and their thoughts, and, and their feelings about perhaps our society today.